I put this disc together as basically a multi boot disc uh, with several newer tools for you know wiping hard disks and the SSDs and so forth. Um, and you know the the technology and, and the resources that they actually use are um, quite a bit newer than um, what like D band is. You know I think they quit developing D band in like 2017, and so um, the programs that actually on this disc are you know quite a bit newer than that, um, and they include uh, you know some programs that. You know, may or may not work, and um, you know, like this law basically is, is kind of just been beta, and, and uh, but the whole purpose of this law is to actually, you know, you can boot from the flash drive on any computer that has hard drives attached to it, and what it's going to do is basically just wipe any disk that's attached to that computer. Um, except the flash drive, you know, the software is actually running on. So, um, obviously you can see the warning, you know, basically all, uh, all, you basically all the disks that are, you know, it, well, it basically is an attempt to wipe all disks attached to the, you know, the computer. So, um, if you start it and you have it, you know, attached to a, uh, you know, a computer, you have several disks on there, and you may, you know, may have a, a hard disk or some disk on there that you didn't want to have wiped, then, you know, you shouldn't probably run this unless um, you're sure that you want everything, you know, all the disks that are attached wiped, because I'm just going to go through this. So what it does is actually starts up. Um, all these programs are Linux-based. Um, and the only thing you know, need to do, you know how to do, you know, to, um, you know, run any of them is you just need to be able to start from the boot from the flash drive. And so you basically see the program is, is started and, um, you know, it's already at 1%, um, you know, for the purpose of the video, obviously I'm not worried of running it on a computer. I'm just basically running it, um, in a virtual environment so that you know there is just basically a virtual disk and that virtual disk is just being wiped and so there's nothing on there basically you know the the disk isn't even um, initialized and you know so there's no operating system or anything like that it's like 25 megabytes in space so um, if you actually had uh, larger disks attached to a computer and you were going to wipe them, you know, um, you know, the whole process might take a long time to actually, you know, um, complete. But um, uh, in most cases, you know, every hard drive that's attached, if if it doesn't fail, you know, basically it would be securely wiped. So you know, there's no chance of you know, recovering any data from any medium that was wiped by this program. I can't really say what uh, uh, wiping method it uses, but usually what they do is they, you know, rate it with zeros and ones and X's and Y's, and and um, there's different methods, and I can't really explain, you know, to this the specific method that this um, uh, program actually uses, but um, um, I'm not going to let it complete. I just wanted to kind of show you how it works. And I'm just going to restart the computer and um, give you a look at um, the other program. So basically, um, you know, it's called Tread OS. And, um, you know, I think it only comes in 64-bit version right now. But uh, I also included an older version, you know, older 32-bit version on the disk. And so I'm just going to run the 64-bit version. Obviously, it runs a lot like any Linux program is, you know, and so you see this screen. But because, you know, it only has limited functionality, um, 
you know the whole operating system is, is, is quite small and doesn't take very long to load. So um, when it actually does load here, it'll just be you know a simple uh, interface. Um, showing you know the discs that are attached. Obviously, you can in the, in this case basically if I was to you know um, on my specific com uh, computer, I'm using the space bar to you know select to wipe, and, and the you know the item that I actually select have select is just the hard di disk, and obviously you know I could go up here and I could actually select to wipe you know the USB flash drive, but you know that's kind of what you know the the software is running on, so you don't want to wipe, you know, the the flash drive. You know, you just want to wipe the hard drives, and and most of the hard drives will show up um, kind of differently. This is actually not showing the hard drive like I thought it would be, because actually that's a, a DVD ROM drive. So. But you, I guess you can get the idea. It's, so essentially, you can you can look at the bottom and you can basically see where you know you have the other options. So I can you know I can hit the S key, and it's actually going to start, but it just doesn't start um, automatically. You have to press another key. I hit the M key. I can select a different method to wipe the disk. I can't really explain to you how all the different methods work, but um, usually the default is going to be, you know, decently secure. Uh, enough to, you know, wipe the disk uh, securely, so, um, but I'm going to get out of this menu, um, so I just basically choose the backspace key to go back to where I was. Um, I can choose, the, you know, V to verify. R to you know specify the number of you know times it actually goes through the whole process of you know wiping the disk. So I can say, well, you know, I want to have it do it. But let's see what it actually defaults to. You know, so right now it actually defaults to one, um, but I could actually you know type any number I wanted in there. But if you are wiping a disk that's say even like as small as 500 you know gigabytes the whole process takes a long long time because you know basically it's just you know sector by sector and it'll you know um, write data to it erase it wipe and you know so the thing is that you know that that whole process may take you know I don't know I don't know you know how long it, it but you know just figure it might if it takes even a few seconds per sector, you know, there's going to be, you know, thousands of, you know, sectors on a, on a 500 gigabyte disk. And so it, it will take, it can take, you know, hours or days, depending on, you know, what the media is actually are, you're trying to wipe. So just be aware of that. So I'm going to go back space here. Um... And so I'm at the main menu. And we can also choose other options like just to blank the disk and not necessarily, you know, securely wipe it. And obviously I, I mentioned about, you know, pressing the space bar to select the disk you wanted to wipe. And, you know, so that's kind of it. So then once you actually have everything set up like you want, and then it'll tell you, you know, you, you do shift S in order to start the whole process. But I'm not going to be doing anything here. It's just basically just showing you the process. Um, and you can see under the options, you know, um, everything that's selected for the disk. And, you know, under the, uh, on the right-hand side, you know, upper right-hand side, it basically, you know, obviously it's going to give you the time that it's been running in the remaining time and, and uh, so forth and so on. And, you know, if there's any errors, you know, in the whole process, you don't give them too. But, you know, that's kind of how it all works. Basically, you just have to uh, 
know how to, you know, boot up a flash drive. And then, you know, basically you just go through the simple process and, and um, select sheet the options you want. And then just basically ch choose yes. And then um, read what it actually says after you press S. Which would be just basically you're going to have to, you know, uh, hit shift S, you know, to actually start the process. So... Um, that's kind of it, um, and so uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly just uh, you know get a hold of me. Otherwise, thanks for uh, viewing this video, and hope to see you next again next time.